Hello and welcome to another Excel demo with Rich Kerr. In this scenario, I want to be able to look up a student ID, but look up looking up across three different ranges. So I have sixth graders, seventh graders, and eighth graders. I want to put in any ID and have it retrieve the first name, last name, and grade number, regardless as to which grade level the student ID is found in. So we're going to start with XLOOKUP for this purpose. XLOOKUP lets me take a lookup value, in this case that ID of 162, comma, and because I have to look it up across multiple columns, we're going to use VSTACK, which allows us to combine those lookup columns into, into one, right? So I've got the student IDs for the sixth graders, comma, the student IDs for the seventh graders, and finally the student IDs for the eighth graders. So that combines them all into a single column inside the XLOOKUP formula. Comma, the return array would be the data in the three columns to the right. And again, they're spread across these three different ranges. So again, we'll use VSTACK to combine these three columns, comma, with the same three columns but from the seventh grade range. And again, combine all that with the same kind of data from the eighth grade range. So it's going to look up 162 across all the student IDs. Where it finds a match, it'll bring back the three columns to the right. And that's it. So 162 looks like that's a seventh grader named Diana Murphy. Yeah, let's look and see. Uh, there we go, 162, Diana Murphy. So it worked. Now, the other thing we wanted to do is have the first, last, and grade number all appear in the same cell. So we'll wrap that entire XLOOKUP function with the VSTACKs inside, inside a text join function. So with text join, I can take multiple elements and combine them into a single string inside one cell. The first argument for text join is the delimiter. So the delimiter is what, what do you want to use as a character to separate your data points? In this case, I just want a space between the first name, last name, and grade number. So I put a space inside quotes for my delimiter. Comma. The next parameter for the text join function is whether or not you want it to ignore blank cells. So let's say one of these students was missing a last name or something. We don't want it to put another space to separate the last name column if it doesn't exist. We want it to ignore that and move on to the grade number. So this would be true. We want to ignore any blank cells from our um, result set. And finally, the text that we want joined together. Now from the helper you can see you could add multiple text elements separated with a comma. But in our case, our XLOOKUP function is already returning three separate values. So we already have three values that we want text join to bring together. So close parentheses, and there you go. You have the first name, last name, and grade number in the same cell. Now if I punch in an ID from another range, 121, that's Billy Stewart uh, from the eighth grade range. If I punch in, say, 148, then that's uh, Edward Kelly uh, from the sixth grade range. So we can see no matter which grade level is found with our entry, 179 is Terry Wood from the seventh grader. So it works across the board. I hope you found this useful. Please check in again soon for more Excel demos with Rich Kerr. Have a productive day. Peace.